The day it happened was like any other, I suppose. I was on my way to work when it hit me. The President of the United States is a lying, vicious bastard. And he had to die. I couldn't believe it had taken me this long to realize what I had to do. What my mission had to be. One ticket to Washington, please. I have a date with destiny. And that's when I saw her. All these years, the ideal woman had been just a dream. And yet, there she was. Alive, more than alive. Thrust into my world and recreating it with every breath she took. For the first time in my lonely life, I dared to hope. Hey, that looks like fun. Man and machine, working in harmony. Pride and achievement. Physical labor, its own hay. Peter had some nerve showing his face in this town. Why, my poor sister still cries herself to sleep every night. Having made my point, I was quite willing to concede that I, too, had made a mistake. But in fairness to me, he sure looked like Peter. I was exhausted. What a day. At that point, I wanted nothing more than to just go home, have a hot bath, and get a good night's sleep. Taxi! Where to, mister? Morocco. Not just a place, but a state of mind. Not just somewhere to be, but a way of being. Morocco is me, and I am Morocco. I felt I was finally ready to settle down in this land where the roots of humanity ran as deep as... I was perfectly within my rights to sink that boat. Dolphins are not just fish. My God, that's like saying dogs are just... Well, whatever it is, dogs. Make a note to see my doctor. I've been feeling inexplicably tired lately. Maybe I just need to get away. Can't help feeling there was something I was supposed to do today. Oh, well, it'll come to me.